On problems like this, it may be helpful, not that you need to, but uh, uh, especially on the tests, we're not going to say write a matrix or even a system. But I think it's a little bit faster than guessing. Uh, the choice is yours, though. Guess and test, it's a legitimate problem-solving strategy that I think they use in NASA, like when things go bad. So uh, <laughs> I could be wrong. I don't know. All right, so let's look. We got a collection of dimes and nickels. Um, yeah. And uh, the total value of that is 11 bucks. It's more money than I have. That's unfortunate. So uh, if I say that X is dimes, you know what? I'm not going to use X. I'm going to say D is dimes. I'm only defining these because, I don't know, it's... Very formal. And for nickels. So you're writing two equations, right? That's correct. Yeah. Equals eleven dollars. Yes. So we're gonna have one equation for the coins, for the number of coins I should say. Number of coins. And then we should have a another equation for the amount of money. The reason we know that is because we have the total number of coins and the total amount of money. Okay. So that is correct. For the coins, I have the dimes. If I add those to the number of nickels, then I have 200 coins. For dollars, well, dimes are worth, oh man, what the heck, uh, 0 0.1, that's fine. If I multiply that by the number of dimes, that tells me how much I have worth in dimes. That may be stated better. For nickels, they're five cents times the number of nickels would give me how much I have in nickels. And we know this totals at eleven dollars. All right. By the decree of the students, we're going to use substitution. And we want to solve for N or D in that first one. N. N. Let's do it. So I'm going to subtract D from both sides. And that gives me the number of nickels is the same as 200 coins minus the number of dimes. Now I can replace this expression in for this N right here. So I got 0 0.1D plus 0 0.05 and though is replaced with 200 minus the number of dimes. This is going to equal 11 bucks. So to solve for D I need to distribute my 0 0.05 uh oh what is that 10 minus 0 0.05 D and I still have the 0 0.1 D that's a positive 10 equals 11 now when I combine my like terms, which are the two D's, uh-oh, absolutely. So now when I combine these two terms, I got uh, 0.1D minus 0.05D, that's a 0.05D. I'm still going to add my 10, and this will equal 11. And I ran out of space. All right, so to solve for D, I'll subtract 10 from both sides. And I have 0.05D equals 1. Oh, that's interesting. So, yeah, whatever. Okay, so to solve this one, I'm going to divide both sides by 0.05. Um, what the heck is that? The number of dimes is, is it 20? 20 dimes. Well, here's the great thing is, since we know the number of dimes, if we look back to this equation right here, I can replace the dimes with 20. So 20 plus the number of nickels needs to equal 200. And to solve this thing, I'm just going to subtract 20 from both sides. And the number of nickels looks like it's 180 nickels. So here's my dimes, here's my nickels. 
If you stop there, you may be making a big mistake. Is there anyone?